Yes, students. The remaining part of the previous problem of Hermiston type equation, we have already found C1. Now, this is about C2. C2, we, uh, you know, already we have taken as 0 to pi cos cube, to cos cube phi of t dt. And uh, phi of x, phi of x value is nothing but x, uh, lambda cos square x, C1 lambda cos 3x C2. So, because it is phi of t, we have taken t. So, this we have multiplied inside and this also as well as we have multiplied inside. And this cos cube t already we have taken, this as a cos 3t plus cos, uh, uh, cos, cos cube 3t, uh, cos 3t formula, cos 3t is equal to minus 3 cos t plus 4 cos cube t and this implies cos cube t is equal to cos 3t plus 3 cos t by 4. With the help of that formula, we have written here. And this is also same thing, uh, cos square t, formula is 1 plus cos 2 by 2 and lambda c2 and this is as usual the same formula we have applied here. And the uh, cos t is as usual. Now this is lambda, this is nothing but 4 to the 8 that we have taken outside and 3 cos t and uh, we have multiplied inside the each and every term 3 cos t, 3 cos t to cos 2t, cos 2t and the uh, cos 3t is uh, uh, cos 3t is as well <coughs> the cos 3t and the cos 3 uh, 3 cos t 3 cos t 3 cos t cos 2t plus cos 3t and cos 3t into cos 2t this is the first term finished the next term is cos 3t into cos uh, cos 3t into cos t cos 3t into cos t cos square t t now this is again 3 cos t I have just added and sin t 0 to 5 and plus if you multiply 2, uh, 3 by 2 multiplying and dividing to 2. So, this is cos a cos b, 2 cos a cos b. So, cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So, this is cos t t cos t and dt and plus this is sin 3 t directly have done sin 3 t by 3 0 to 5 plus again 1 multiplying and dividing 2. So, 1 by 2 that this becomes cos a uh, cos b that is q2 cos a cos b. So, you will be getting as cos 5 t plus cos t. And uh, this one, anyhow, it will be, uh, this is what we have done here. And for this, lambda c2 by 4, this is again 3 by 2, 2 is multiplied. So, cos a, cos b, 2 cos a, cos b, cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. And this is cos square the 3t. So, that is nothing but 1 plus cos 60 by 2. You will be getting that. Now, you should understand now. Now, we are going to solve the remaining part which we have already done. Uh, that, so that we will get in the form of like this. Now, this is this is lambda c1 by 8 into you should understand this is 0 because because uh, you can see that 3 sin pi is nothing but 0 and sin 0 is also 0 this lambda c1 8 is entire term up to here then lambda c2 now this one as usual uh, this i'll take in the form of like this and this one 3 by 2 3 by 2 i may write this as sin 3t by 3 okay plus cos sin 3 sin t under 0 to pi this also under 0 to pi for this for this one okay then after this 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 is anyhow 0 you will be getting as 0 this is again 1 by 2 sin 5t by 5 under 0 to pi plus this is sin t under 0 to pi. Okay, this entire term is completed. Next, lambda c2 by 4. This is 3 by 2. And this is sin 4t by 4 under 0 to pi. Okay, then this is plus sin t under 0 to pi plus lambda c2 by 4. This you should understand t by 2 under 0 to pi. The other one is plus sin 60 by the 2 is there no? So 2 into 6 that is 0 to pi. Okay, this is what we got. So therefore, <coughs> therefore this is 0, this is as well as 0. This is also 0, this is also 0. The total term is nothing but 0. This is 0 because sin 4 pi is nothing but 0. This is also 0. And this term, 
this term you are going to get that is lambda c2 by 4 that is pi by 2 minus 0 plus this is also 0 so everything is 0 you will be getting as c2 is equal to lambda c2 by 4 pi by 2 means I may write this as lambda c2 pi by 8 this is what you got so we got as the second equation as lambda c2 lambda c2 means I may write this as c2 minus lambda c2 pi by 8 equal to 0 this is the second uh, equation which we got previously we got in the another video we got as c1 so uh, we got as now c2 now we, based on these two equations we will try to find out the values of lambda as well the lamb, the values of uh, the uh, eigen functions so we got two equations let me write those two equations one is 1 minus lambda pi by 4 we got that is nothing but c1 equal to 0 if you take common here if you take common c2 that is 1 minus lambda pi by 8 into c2 is equal to 0 this is what we have got from the previous one so since these two are nothing but uh, uh, we obtain a linear system of these are the two system of equations these are the two system of equations so uh, we will obtain the uh, diagonal values okay uh, we will obtain in the form of like this these are the system of equations we will determine the, the values in the form of like this now we will write as c1 c2 we will try to find the determinants because of system of equations we will try to find out the values of uh, uh, the lambda with the help of the determinant like this is c1 we will take and c2 we will take here so c1 c1 you have 1 minus lambda pi by 4 the other one c2 is from this equation is nothing but 0 then uh, here c1 is 0 you will be getting as 1 minus lambda pi by 8 is nothing but equal to 0 so I will multiply these two that is 1 minus lambda pi by 4 and this is 1 minus lambda pi by 8 that is nothing but equal to 0 this you got so therefore one may can say I can say write that this is nothing but equal to 0 as well as 1 minus lambda pi by 8 is also equal to 0 from this lambda pi by 4 is equal to 1 and the lambda is equal to 4 by 5 and this is lambda is equal to as well 8 by 5 now you got two values the lambda lambda is equal to 4 by 5 lambda equal to 8 by 5 because of the two system of equations we have found the determinant according to the theory and we got as lambda equal to 4 by 5 lambda equal to 8 by 5 after getting these two values let us consider those two values as lambda 1 and lambda 2 so let us consider that as lambda 1 and lambda 2 so lambda 1 is nothing but equal to 4 by pi and lambda 2 is nothing but equal to 8 by pi these are the two values from these uh, equations now after getting these two equations we will try to find out the eigenfunctions eigenfunctions so substituting these are the two characteristic, characteristic uh, numbers are two characteristic characteristic numbers now we need to find the eigen functions for the corresponding the characteristic functions lambda 1 and the lambda 2 so for this uh, characteristic functions we will try to find out now substituting these values uh, in the concern equation with the help of that now we got two equations now so we will substitute the values substituting substituting the values in the above equations above equation means the c1 and c2 which we got that equation so that equations will try to find out the value we will try to substitute lambda 1 in that so 1 minus lambda uh, 1 minus uh, we have lambda pi by 4 we got no this is c1 equal to 0 in this we will try to substitute the value of lambda 1 lambda 1 if you substitute what is the what is going to happen 1 minus 1 minus lambda what is lambda 1 that is nothing but 4 by pi and a pi by 4 c1 equal to 0 this two which gets cancelled and the 4 4 gets cancelled so you may get as c1 is 0 you got as c1 is 0 similarly if you substitute in another equation which is 1 minus uh, 1 minus the other equation is lambda pi by 8 c2 equal to 0 in this if you substitute if you substitute 1 minus 4 by 4 by pi into pi by 8 into c2 equal to 0 then you will be getting as 2 2 gets cancelled 
and you'll be getting as for ones for twos. This is one minus one by two c two equal to zero. This is one by two c two equal to zero. Anyhow, c two is also equal to zero. You got as c two also zero. C one c two also zero for lambda is equal to four by pi. Similarly, for lambda two, uh, therefore c two c two and c one are nothing but uh, Uh, equal to zero. We'll take one is arbitrary, the other one is zero, so that you'll be finding the eigen function. Because since we got a c1 equal to zero, c2 equal to zero, you may not get the eigen functions. So we'll take one one factor as a arbitrary function, the other one is nothing but a constant. That we'll try to find out now. So therefore, what we are going to take is we'll take one arbitrary condition, the other one is nothing but eigen values you are going to have. So I'll take it follows that it follows that. It follows that that c2 is equal to zero. if I take c2 is equal to zero, c1 is arbitrary. If c2 is zero, we will take c the c1 is arbitrary. So then the then the eigen function eigen function will be of the form will be. So then the eigen function will be in the form of like this. That is phi one of x is equal to phi one of x is equal to Then we'll be writing as the previous value we have that what we have here the previous uh, value is uh, previous uh, eigen function and write that phi of x so that you'll understand this is the phi of x which we have in the equation one lambda cos square x c1 and the plus lambda cos 3 x c2 this is what we have from the equation one so we have taken c2 is zero and c1 is arbitrary so c2 is zero means this entire term will be zero. Then you'll be getting as only this value. So therefore, I'm writing as phi one of x is equal to this is lambda cos square x c one. This is what we have uh, we have chosen for the if lambda if c two is uh, zero and c one is arbitrary. So therefore, therefore lambda c one. If I take lambda c one is nothing but one. Therefore, you'll be getting as phi one of x is equal to cos square x. C one is arbitrary. You have taken. So I'll take c one. Lambda lambda c1 is nothing but e equal to one. If lambda c1 equal to one, this will be the eigen function. The eigen function is cos square x. If lambda c1 is nothing but equal to one, so this we have chosen when c2 is zero. Okay, then then if we if we take if we take this is the first value. Now if we consider as lambda is equal to eight by pi, eight by pi. What is going to happen? This is the equation which we got from the From the previous thing, now we'll try to find out if lambda equal to for lambda equal to lambda two. If we take eight by pi for four by pi, we got as c one is zero and c two is zero. For eight by pi, what are the the two equations leads? Now we'll try to find out for that. Now first we'll take the c one. The c one equation we have one minus four one minus we have one minus lambda pi by Four into c one equal to zero. This is first equation. One minus la lambda pi by eight c two equal to zero. This is another equation. Now we'll try to find out what are the values of lambda two. If you substitute in these two, what about the c one and c two? Now previously we have taken lambda one and we have we have seen that c one is zero and c two is zero. Now we'll try to find out the value of c one when substituting of eight by pi. Now from this, what is going to happen? One minus Lambda is eight by pi, so eight by pi into pi by four into c one is nothing but equal to zero. So this is nothing but what? This is cancel. This is four twos, and you'll be getting as c one is also zero. In this also c one is zero. And let us take this equation. This equation one minus one minus lambda is again eight by pi. Eight by pi into pi by eight, and the c two is nothing but equal to zero. This also will cancel, and you'll be getting as c two is also zero. So you got as both the c1 and c2 is zero. So for lambda 2 is also same thing. So what is that now? It follows that. It follows that we need to take, we need to take the values in the form. So it follows what? It follows that. It follows that. You have to consider. You have to consider. I'll take now c1 is zero and c2 is c2 is arbitrary. C2 is a is a arbitrary. Okay, you can choose any of the value. So c1 is zero and c2 is arbitrary. So as well. Now previous value phi of x from equation one we have. What is phi of x equation one we have is uh, we have that equation is lambda cos square x c1 plus 
again the one more thing is lambda cos 3x cos 3x c2 this is the equation one which we have so since we have taken c1 is c1 is zero and c2 is arbitrary so this entire term will be zero and this term you will be getting so therefore i may write this as phi 2x therefore you will get as lambda cos 3x c2 and if i choose if i choose arbitrary condition like uh, if lambda c2 is equal to 1 arbitrary so we can choose any value so if i choose, if i choose lambda c2 you will be getting as phi of t is equal to cos 3x now this is the eigen function which we have for the values of the lambdas now ultimately what we got here is the the what are the eigen functions thus thus the eigen functions eigen functions are phi 1 of x is equal to cos square x and the phi 2 of x is equal to cos 3x for corresponding for corresponding corresponding characteristic 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 uh, eigen values eigen values lambda 1 equal to 4 by pi and the lambda 2 equal to pi by 8 okay so this is this is the eigen functions phi 1 of x and this is phi 2 of x is a cos 3x for corresponding the characteristic eigen file lambda 1 equal to 4 by pi and lambda 2 equal to 8 by pi now this is the way to do the problem uh, the previous video we have done up to C1 and now this video we have done entire problem. This gives a 12 marks. It's very important in the examination and the same thing, same process can be done for the previous problems or for the other problems also.